welcome back children in the previous video i have read you the poem if so in this video let us go through the poem once again and also the summary of the poem so once again welcome back to the english class
of a sentence similarly the poet has used similarly the poet has used the word if in the poem to emphasize that the poet has used the word if in the poem to emphasize that every living every living being every living being in this world is connected with one another is connected with one another so the connecting word if it has to even connect the people connect the people so in order to so in order to live harmoniously in order to live harmoniously in the world it is very important to it is very important to connect with one another connect with each other in a good and ethical thoughts and deeds so i will repeat it again so in order to live harmoniously in the world it is very important to connect with each other in a good and ethical thoughts and deeds next paragraph now our lifetime on this earth is very limited our lifetime on this earth is very limited we have to use we have to use our god given gift of life we have to use our god given gift of life to me to me this world this world a better place a better place how can we make this world a better place how can we make this world a better place that is what the poet seems to be telling us in the lines of the poem if that is what the poet seems to be telling us in the lines of the poem if see next paragraph now giving is important in life giving is important in life to give someone something to give someone something we must ourselves be kind we must ourselves be kind strong and charitable kind strong and charitable we should not hesitate we should not hesitate to give anything to a fellow beings we should not hesitate to give anything to our fellow beings so the poet is earnestly urging us that the right time to do anything is at the very moment the thought occurs yes whenever we want to help someone we want to do some good jobs good works good deeds it is the right time is that the very very moment when the thought 
occurs in our mind. We should not wait for the next minute also. So we have to do the good deeds or good works whenever they occur in our mind at that moment itself. Next part children. Next part now. If we have an opportunity to cultivate a friendship with others. If we have an opportunity to cultivate a friendship with others then we should not lose time. Then we should not lose time but immediately raise the occasion and offer our friendship and trustworthiness. We should not, then we should not lose time but immediately raise the occasion and offer our friendship and trustworthiness. It requires one to have courage to sacrifice anything he has to others. It requires one to have courage to sacrifice anything he has to others. So the poet says that if we have the courage to give or to ease somebody's pain or to please others so that we can make them happy, we should do it immediately. We should do it immediately. I'll read it again for you. The poet says, so the poet says that if we have the courage to give or to ease somebody's pain or to please others so that we can make them happy, we should do it immediately. Next now, at the end of the poem, the poet repeats what he has said in the poem to emphasize his idea. At the end of the poem, the poet repeats what he has said in the poem to emphasize his idea. He pleads with us to be hasty in doing good deeds. He pleads with us to be hasty in doing good deeds. He warns us. He warns us to do to do good deeds and help the others in need before it is too late. Before it is too late. A life on the earth is too short. A life on the earth is too short. We should not regret that we should not regret that we were, we were unkind, uncharitable or selfish or selfish at the end of our life, at the end of our life. One need, one need not wait for 
tomorrow one one need not wait for tomorrow or for another time for another time to do good deeds to do good deeds for it may be just a little too late for it may be just a little too late so the poet urges us to do good deeds immediately that that is now 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 so this is all about the summary children summary of the poem in this poem the poet is asking us to do the good things good deeds immediately when we had got them in our mind when the thought had come in our mind we should not put forward or we should not postpone it to the next day or the next minute or the next time so we have to be on our toes to do the good deeds to help the others especially who are in the need thank you thank you for watching